kind of went a completely different direction with what we were doing and seemed to pay off and, um, you know, just kind of had a solid weekend other than qualifying. So I uh, got some damage there, um, but we were able to come back, I guess, and finish nights. So that's decent and go into Homestead next week. We're going to have to Jeff and then to Bob. Jeff Clark from JeffClark.com. Kevin, a comeback today that saved your season. Where would you rank this? And did you think that you had a chance when uh, everything had gone wrong in that instant? Um, I never really thought about it like that. I just thought about getting it. My, my main job was to try to get it back to the pits without crashing it into the wall or having a tire blow out and rip the fenders off. I felt it go down going into into turn one and, and you know, just kind of tried to nurse it into into turn three and, and back around. So um, I couldn't get down over there. And, you know, I just drug everything uh, all the way around and drug the splitter off. And so it never really handled as good after that, but we've made some adjustments to our car and got ourselves back in contention there in, in the second stage, staying out, and it worked out okay. And we're also joined by Martin Truex Jr., driver of the 78 Auto Owners Insurance Toyota. Go ahead, Bob. Bob Pock for CSPN. Kevin, what would you describe your emotion as relief, excited, the fact that you get to go vie for a title, or? Just another so day, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just another day. It was a day where you could have been knocked out of the championship. You don't, you don't, you don't do anything different. I would prepare no different next week if I was out as I would if I was in. So, um, that's what I always tell you guys: win or lose, it's it's the same, same prep every week. Do we have any questions for William Byron? What to Matt? Matt Weaver with Auto Week for William. Uh, the season's not over yet, obviously, but what are the things that in this rookie year that you feel the most proud of, even though the numbers don't necessarily show it as being something that's great? Yeah, I mean, it's, I'd say just um, kind of how we've grown or how I've grown, um, you know, there's been a lot of things to, to learn. So just how I've improved those things or how people have helped me improve those things and, um, you know, looking forward to next year, what we have there. And I think probably some of the decent runs that we've had, um, you know, look at the road courses went pretty well for us, and then uh, some of the short track races went well. So probably look at that stuff and be proud of that. Do we have any other questions for William? All right. Well, thanks for joining us, William. Congratulations. All right. We'll go to Dustin and work our way to Wolfgang and Bob. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Kevin, what, what did you feel like was your biggest challenge today then with, with everything that you kind of had to go through? A flat tire, just you know, with leading the stage there, stage, you know, coming to the white and and tire goes flat, so you know that just put us behind and drug the front of the car off and and splitter and everything up front was was drug off and it just you know that was that was really the the turning point in our day to you know to um, you know not have everything go right, but I mean we got ourselves back in in contention there and you know we're going in the right direction and and wound up just finding a spot at the end to to just survive there and, and, and get to the finish. Okay. A uh, question to Martin, uh, <coughs> um, especially the second part of the race was very chaotic. How did you manage to say, stay out of all this, this chaos and not involved in all these problems? Right place, right time, a few of them. Um, that that cra the big crash off the turn two and that restart um, on the back stretch was, I mean, it was close. There was cars, smoke everywhere. I just basically stopped going into turn three and uh, was lucky to find a hole to get through. So um, just a little bit of good fortune, a little bit of the right place, the right time. And, you know, the rest of the day, we just, uh, you know, we battled and got what we could out of the car and uh, did what we had to. Bob Pocker, CSPN, a couple more for you, Kevin. First off, do you know, Goodyear said it was a likely a puncture, but they weren't sure. Do you have any idea what caused the? I don't. Okay. And on the restart with uh, Kyle leading and Eric second and you third, did you feel your car was good enough that you had a chance to win, or did you feel like your championship bid was more on how Amarola was going to run? Um, I just needed to get my car set on the bottom and and try to get everything so that I could get a good exit off the corner, and that was that was really all I was worried about. Okay. Uh, another question, follow up from Bob uh, Kevin. Was his uh, tire went down? You said already when I understood it correctly, the splitter was damaged or broken or whatever. Uh, did you not was fearing when this tire went down, you had the tire um, uh, problem, that maybe some more serious damage could be done to the suspension, for example? 
Um, you, you know, in that instance, you just hope that the sway bar stays connected, and you know that that's that's really the biggest worry. So I hadn't I hadn't looked under the car and you know seen seen how bad it it drug it all off, but you know it was good enough to to keep going. So that was and the sway bar was still hooked up. So that was the main thing. Jerry. Jerry Jordan, kicking the tires. Net and PRN. Martin, um, you know, with everything that's happened with you this uh, season, defending your championship, uh, what does that mean to you uh, with the changes that have happened? Well, it's, uh, you know, it's exciting for us, I think, to be in this position again. Um, you know, this is our third trip to Homestead in four years, which I think is, uh, you know, something we're all really proud of as a group. And um, obviously, as going to be our last race together as a complete group, um, you know, it's definitely going to be a, a special weekend. And, you know, all we can do is uh, is prepare the best we can and do the same thing that, uh, you know, we've done down there before and just try our best. That's all you can do at the end of the day. So uh, we've got a great team. It's been, uh, you know, an amazing, amazing ride together. And hopefully we can get down there next week and, uh, you know, make our owners proud and just up uh, to our potential. We'll go up front to Lee. My question is for Martin. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Lee Spencer Racing Reference. Can you just tell us a little bit? I know you've said it before about what, what Barney means to you, but seeing him out there today, it, it's almost bittersweet, you know, talking to him with everything he's put into the organization and to see it come from, you know, basically nothing to a championship caliber team. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's uh, it's just really still kind of sinking in, I think, for most of us, you know, when you're you're – you know, in this, doing this job and you're so focused on what you're doing, you kind of really just block out everything in the outside world. I mean, you just get so focused in and, and, you know, so, um, just it, it's, you know, we understand this here. It's our next, it's our last week, but, uh, you know, it, it's cool that we're going to Homestead with a chance, um, to win it in his last race. And, you know, I, I said out there on pit road that it's, um, my five years there has been amazing. He's been a great guy to work for. Um, just thinking about all the people that he's given opportunities to over the years and, and how, you know, some of those guys started in Colorado 12, 13 years ago working for him. And uh, just a special group. It's a, It's been a special time. It's been a lot of fun. And um, he's just been a great guy to work for. Um, yeah, I think Cole and the guys will tell you that he's he's given them everything they needed to be the best they can be and, and the same for me. So that's been fun. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we can reward him next week. Oh, there's no question that it turned, you know, going there um, was the best thing I ever did. Uh, the first year you you thought I, I, I thought I was probably about to get fired. <laughs> uh, and then and then we turned it around. So, uh, yeah, definitely been a, an exciting five years for sure. Go ahead. Martin, and with the last stage having two red flags and multiple cautions, now you've been to Homestead many times, but is that as difficult of a final stage at Phoenix as you can remember, even if you weren't necessarily involved, just to have to get through all that? Um, not really. I mean, I, I, it was pretty straightforward for us. I mean, it, by that point, we were in pretty good shape. So, uh, you know, we were just trying not to, not to put ourselves in too bad of a spot and uh, just trying to get to the end. Dustin? Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Kevin, what was it like to to work with Tony in this in this way since you guys hadn't done that before? Yeah, really. You know, the, the biggest thing that Tony brings is just a ton of experience. <clears throat> Obviously, a familiar face to um, the NASCAR officials, and he's been with Stuart Haas for for a long time and worked with all those guys and worked with everybody in the shop. So, um, you know, he's he's very calm, sitting up on on the pit box unless he's winning the Daytona 500. Um, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> then, he, then he gives us uh, something that we all remember. But, you know, for the most part on the radio, he was just dead calm all weekend and, and just, you know, pretty pretty laid back with, with everything. And, and everybody just did their job. So, you know, the thing you got to remember is those guys have all been together for, for five years. And, you know, there's uh, the Internet works well from, from Phoenix to North Carolina as well, too. So, Are there any other questions? We'll go over to the side. Kevin, Greg Moore, um, Arizona Republic. I'm curious why you have uh, such success out here in Phoenix. Yeah, well, you know, this has just been a, a great racetrack for us through the years, um, really, and everything that, that we've that we've ever raced. It's just a place that, that I like coming to. Um, you know, I've been coming here since the 
mid 80s late 80s uh to, you know to watch races and started racing here in the mid 90s and you know so even even since they've they've changed the track it's just been a place that i feel like i know well and and enjoy racing in front of these fans and and on these types of tracks so just a good place for us are there any final questions all right thanks for joining us gentlemen and good luck next weekend <laughs>